that's a fish. A fish and a half, I think. Could be. Wow, this is heavy. Do you think I can manage to take it on the reel now? Come on, come on. Yes, sweet. It took the mulkis, the dropper fly. I think it's a colored fish. It's about 60 centimeter or more. This is intense. So I have a woolly bugger behind, which I'm trying to avoid getting stuck in the bottom, but this one ain't getting in easily. Hope we'll manage to solve this. It's like a projectile going through here. I think I'm getting some net assistance pretty soon. Man, he ate yes! Eel pouch. Perfect! We have a huge eel pouch. Yeah, I've seen it. Helvete, look at that. <laughs> Just sticking out of the gills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Crazy fish. How pretty. Look at Ooh. it has spots on the fat fin. Yeah, the wow. ones yesterday had as well, uh, the day before as well. They look yeah. super beautiful. It has been feeding a lot on eel pout. Yeah, and uh, they're terrible to to grasp for the for the sea trout. So even though they manage to catch it in the mouth, the eel pout is swimming around in the mouth, and sometimes they hang out through the gills like this. We'll take some closer pictures of it. But it probably if it ate maybe five eel pout. One gets stuck like that through the gills. So you can just imagine how important of a food source they are. Uh, so I have a different camera than your own. Yeah. You've had an neck strap. Yeah. And you press on... Oh. <laughs> Slippery. <laughs> you press on the screen where you want to focus. Yeah. And then you take the picture. All right. All right. That did not take many casts at all. And it's this pretty cool kelp. It's a male fish, and you can see this eel pout sticking out through its gills. It will probably rotten away and fall out <laughs> eventually, but it's a very important food source for them in the spring. They eat plenty of it. Now it's ready to go. Cool! You have no idea how cold it is. It's like just a few weeks ago we had almost late spring temperatures and now it's close to freezing and we'll have snow today uh, later in the day they say so uh, but it's good for the for the long term in the season that we have a cold front and it's definitely possible to catch them even in a cold time like this awesome now we have to continue so i barely told you what we're even up to we're out sea trout fishing in quite early april and all of a sudden it came in like a cold front uh, which which made us quite alone <laughs> to see again. Uh, last week was kind of crowded with a lot of people out. I'm like targeting the dark spots where I'm trying to cast and avoiding like the bright bottom that I'm fishing or that I'm waiting on. I'm not casting so much in that and focusing on the dark spots. And there it's key to have good polarized glasses. It makes a ton of difference to be able to see it now when it's a little bit, when it's not crazy sunlight it's like a uh, like a cloud cover today so it can be very difficult to spot it but uh, yeah if you have the right glasses it's a lot easier here you have about a 20 meter stretch yeah. where it's uh, bright bottom yeah. and then it comes to darker bottom can you see that yeah i see that behind there yeah so i basically walk until i have maybe 10 meters yeah. to the dark yeah. stretch yeah. and then i cast to it yeah. you have a rock there yeah, I, I think that was where I had the take uh -huh. or at the rock over there right. like in the dark bottom uh -huh. near rocks I tried to pinpoint every rock Yep. Wow, that took close. No, it's a pike. It's a pike. It's a pike? Yeah. 
It took my woolly bugger. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, actually the, the, the entire woolly bugger is on the outside of the mouth. So maybe I'm able to catch the net it. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad that went over quickly. <laughs> yeah, first time of the first pack of the year, but it's um, it's uh, closed season for these, so they're not. You're not allowed to target them. There, woolly bugger that took on. I'm just gonna release this what seems to be a pre-spawn pike to go in and spawn. The population of pike on Gotland is really poor so we have to be uh, taking respect to this uh, protected season for them. As always when you caught a pike or caught a big fish in general so check the leader and this one is totally damaged here and I can just thank this thick fluorocarbon that I will manage to not break off on this fish. So this is zero, zero 033 fluorocarbon. Uh, so quite thick. This, the trout doesn't seem to care about the thicker leader. And uh, it may be, be able to unhook that pike so it doesn't swim around with a woolly bugger in its lip. So that feels good. So this year I've decided to make it much more of a pike year than last year. Uh, on my channel there is only one pike fishing video so far, but it's one that I'm very proud of. I, I think that was a big success, that video. I really like to rewatch it myself. It's probably one of the most, uh, the videos I'm most proud of. So I linked that up in the, in the end of this video. You can check it after. So let me know if you're excited for more pike fishing this year. Here it's not in season, but definitely in north of Sweden I plan to do quite a lot of pike fishing videos. So I hope you are thrilled for that. <laughs> but yeah, now it's back to the sea trout. Ooh, that was a good strike. At a failed cast. Mats. Hey. So difficult, I have the wind straight in my back, so. Fish on! No! That was big! Two casts in a row! Wow, that looked like a big piece of silver! With something shiny. I think it took the mulkis as well. Oh, it's coming right towards me. Wow, it's really. It is a sea trout. Let's see if I can manage to get this in the net. Yeah. <laughs> can you cut the line? About the same length, but much skinnier. But a really stunning sea trout. Really like the conditions of this. Cool. There. <laughs> so fun. Awesome. Can't believe this is happening almost. Getting 
to such a successful day i broke off the magnet of the net i got a massive tangle i'll be back in half an hour Mats, now it's your turn to catch one <laughs> All right, new spot now, which is a little bit more sheltered from the wind as well. It's incredible how it looks like such a dream spring day. And it's just very, very cold. In Stockholm today, they had several centimeters of snow and I think it's gonna come here as well. Crazy. So insanely dirty water here. Look at this can barely see my feet because it's all green and smushy here a lot of stuff floating around but not too far out it is clear and I can see the stones and all so I think the fish can be in this area it's definitely a good hiding spot for bait fish and a lot of nutrition in this water here is a stickleback for example you can see in here so the sea trout is definitely liking this kind of conditions maybe it's not swimming in the very most dirt here but i'm wading out quite deep here and uh, fishing on the outside of the dirty water i really think it could be could be some fish here looks promising and it's a very local spot as well that is dirty right here so if i just continue walking for another 20 meters or so uh, it's gonna clear up again Big wave. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Another silver, or first real silver of the day. Took on a mulkis <laughs> when it was really big waves hammer coming in. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there it is <laughs> cool little silver I knew there would be fish here in this dirty water so cool that it paid off to fish in these big waves and dirty water now we're gonna take some nice pictures sunlight and I think we can capture this moment of what actually happens I tried to to um, take a lot of the, the of the environment to capture that in in the picture too and hopefully we'll manage to do that we'll post the picture here afterwards if we manage Nej, den kom ut här du också då. Det var också på Mulkis. Ja. Now, you all managed to get one in the very last moment. But I think that will be it for this video. He came into the dark spot where I caught fish earlier during the day. And hooked into this kelp. That was really cool fish. It has been a very fun day, but crazy cold. Uh, getting used to the spring temperature and all of a sudden whew, the temperature drops but uh, the sea trout maybe just swim in more shallow instead so uh, this has been a really successful day and uh, yeah that's been it for this video thank you for watching see you in next one i hope very soon